Good morning from the beautiful Indonesia Pavilion here at the Expo 2020 in 2021 in, of course, Dubai. Um, they managed to keep the, <laughs> the temperatures pretty low um, due to this roof over my head, which I really enjoy. And I enjoyed the Expo so far a lot. You, you can hear the sound, I like the sound. And, of course, I like the exhibitions. It's just incredible. Look at that, what's that, Pakistan? Wow. Let's actually check out Pakistan from inside because it looks very promising. Ah, I like the... I really like the music. Don't you like the music? All right, let's see. I just visited Indonesia. I visited Luxembourg and I visited Monaco. And I just entered the expo like half an hour ago. And it's like really straightforward actually. You can't uh, do anything wrong. They just check your vaccination, they check your, um, your ticket and then you're in. And it's not that busy. I mean, it's a very big area here. So, but let's see, this is regular access. And this is how you regularly just access any exhibition. Hello. really nice smell in here I don't know what it is it's kind of like a flower maybe it's, it's like rose or something um, I should ask them it's really nice though and they did a great effort here wow check this out it's amazing well, that's it Billion trees. Is this gonna hurt my eyes? Maybe. Oh my god, maybe this makes a good thumbnail. Let's see. Maybe like this. <laughs> wow. Pakistan. Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, I'm outside again, and this is the possible mission possible. Opportunity Gate, the Mission Possible Pavilion. Let's see if it's actually possible to get inside. Our goal is to unlock opportunities for all alien humans by 2030. I'm in front of the Iraqi pavilion, Iraq, Mesopotamia, Euphrates and Tigris. Um, looks very cool, I'm not going to go inside because there's not too much, it seems like. And this uh, one looks also cool, but it's, I don't know, nobody's going inside. It seems close, but it's Brunei. So, yeah, wow, cool. So many countries here also, that there was like Tonga and um, some other islands in the Pacific Ocean that you've probably never heard of. I'm just going to explain you right now what this is all about actually. So this is the Expo, the World Expo um, of the year 2020. And it's in the middle of the desert, basically in between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And they basically built a metro, not a, not a metro line, but like a, an extension to a metro line, to an existing metro line, the, the red metro that goes from like, you know, from the airport in the north to almost halfway to Abu Dhabi. Um, and it's, it's just amazing what they've done here in, what, a, a few years? And yeah, I've come here to check out the, met the, the <laughs> not only the metro, but also the expo. And now I'm almost, I would say 10% done or something. And I've spent almost half a day here and this is Norway. Should we go and check out Norway or should we? Oh, look at that. I like the salmon here. Plastics and the ocean. 
Is that a salmon? I like salmon as a fish to eat. Oh, it's a show. Well, I just had a show, so I'm not gonna do another show now. I am, however, gonna go in the shade because, woo, it is hot if you're out in the sun. Wow, Colombia looks cool. I've never been to Colombia, but I wanna go. Also, Belarus looks cool. All right, on the main road again, and there's a prayer going on because it is prayer time. Behind me, Switzerland. Over there is the Emirates. There's Guatemala, uh, Congo, Nigeria, Zambia, South Africa, Burundi, Belize, Sierra Leone, Fiji. Wow. Maybe Fiji is something cool. But now, what we're gonna do now, Zambia. Ooh. Should we do Fiji? But these are the uh, these are the so. Let me tell you something. There's a few pavilions that maybe couldn't afford to build their own structure, to build their own place. Those, those uh, exhibitions are inside these normal provided, like Zambia here, you can see it's just a provided a little hut. And um, the other countries that could afford to build a crazy pavilion, like this for example, which I believe is Saudi Arabia, this is what they built. I am going into uh, Saudi Arabia definitely and I will do an extra video on it. I'm gonna go everywhere. This is today's a travel day without traveling. I love it. So I'm sitting here now in the shade and I wanted to show you something that I noticed just now. They don't sell water here. They don't sell water bottles. It's all sponsored by Pepsi. You can see those Pepsi vending machines. They don't sell anything other than this water, which is I can turn it around, which is Aquafina non-carbonated drinking water, the Expo 2020 Dubai UAE official premium uh, premier partner water. And apparently it's a, I don't know, a recycled can or whatever. And it's got normal water, but it's Pepsi. And uh, no other drinks are sold here. Let's see if I can get something to eat. Otherwise I will have to go back to the Switzerland pavilion buy some Swiss chocolate. <laughs> Here is the central point, the, the cupola you can see, the big capsule thing. Um, it, is, it is just crazy. The amount of pavilions, I think it's over 100, the 140 actually, something like that. The amount of um, people is low, that's good, I like that. But the, like, the impressions are crazy. I just, I just love it here. This is my first day. I'm probably going to come back because I can't see any, everything today. And I will, like, yeah, you guys will see me over the next couple of days and weeks. You'll see me exploring the Expo even more. So stay tuned and tune in for, definitely tune in for the Saudi Arabia Pavilion. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm going to leave you with that for today. And I'm going to see you. Uh, in the next one.